We do have new details in a story that we brought you as breaking news last night at 10 o'clock. Three suspects leading officers and deputies from several different agencies on a high-speed chase on the Baytown East Freeway. The truck crashing into several cars during this chase spanning 110 miles. Two men and a 17-year-old were quickly arrested after investigators say they took off running from the truck right off I-10 near the East Loop. One of those suspects, Xavier Gonzalez, faced a judge earlier tonight. Prosecutors calling it one of the worst cases of evading without somebody being killed. Gonzalez being held on a $25,000 bond. Channel 2's Sally Mamdu spoke with a mom whose car became collateral damage. The woman tells me luckily she wasn't speeding because she was just getting on the highway when all of a sudden she got hit at the back of the car. It came without warning. We got on the freeway from McGregor and immediately when I got on the freeway, I looked in my rearview mirror seen the lights and heard the sirens and bam. This woman who didn't want to be identified was among the innocent bystanders caught in the middle of a car chase that spanned 110 miles from Houston to Chambers County. Her car was hit in the back by the suspect's car while leading police in a pursuit. It pushed me all the way over. Investigators with the Harris County Precinct 1 Constable's Office say the chase began when the white F-250 driven by 18-year-old Xavier Gonzalez ran a red light near Upland Willow and State Highway 49. At times, the chase reached over 120 miles per hour. During the chase, the truck crashed into several vehicles, injuring one civilian driver and two law enforcement patrol cars. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt, including the woman and her three-year-old son. It was really scary. Um, it, I guess you could say it gave me anxiety. I was really shaken up. Um, my son, he was okay. He just asked mom what happened, what was going on, and I told him we just got hit. So it did kind of shake the car up and kind of push us around a little bit, but it was really scary because it was very unexpected. The woman tells me she doesn't know yet how much it's going to cost to fix the damage. However, she says she has insurance. In Houston, Sally Memdu, KPRC Channel 2 News.